Many people have uh, been writing in the last couple days <clears throat> since I made the video about moving permanently out of 3D. And so today I'm going to um, I'm going to answer a letter. I just need to bring it up on the screen. This is from Philly Prodigy 09 who writes, thanks for all the cool videos and info. I wanted to know, what do you eat day in and day out? What's your way of staying in high vibration in order to explore the non-physical so much? I know how to dream now like I used to as a child, telling myself to dream and remember. I speak to my higher self. Please share what you do to make your OBEs and lucid dreams happen so often. And... When you said in your last video that you are close to leaving this 3D experience for good, do you mean you will meet with the death experience soon? Please get back to me. Thank you so much. Okay. So I'm going to attempt to answer these questions. I'm just hoping I can keep them all fresh on my mind as I, <laughs> as I make this. Um, so let's start off with uh, what, what, what do I eat? Um, the most important thing to remember is that nothing that you specifically eat is going to uh, make you project m more. Um, What helps with this is your own listening inwardly to what the right thing is. This is the essential movement, and um, everybody's going to get something different. Um, and in a any moment, in any given day, you're going to get something different. But if you're consistently um, feeling the felt presence of your body, um, if you're consistently listening inwardly and asking, what is the right thing? You know, what is it uh, this body needs? What is it this system needs uh, to function as high vibrationally as possible in this moment? Um, so that's, that's the core thing to be doing. So this said, uh, I'll give you a, a few of the things that, that actually happened with me, just to, to make this a bit more practical and um, understandable. So I pay a lot of attention to my water. This happened from the very get-go, and it was very apparent and very clear to me that this was important because for so many years I had been uh, dehydrating myself almost purposefully. I had... Um, uh, at a certain point, about 10 years ago, developed an aversion to water. Um, I would put it to my mouth to drink it and literally not be able to let it in. And I, I don't know the details of what was happening. I just know that at this time um, was the beginning of my triggering for the awakening. So a lot of things uh, were sort of mm, going uh, a little haywire or different than normal at this time. So by the time my consciousness came in on the event in the spring of 2009, and by the event I mean my awakening, my activation, um, it was very clear to me that water was super important. And since this time, I've been paying a lot of attention to my water, more so than my food. And so I might suggest to look at your water. Um, I try to get the cleanest, purest water I can, and I say that being a resident of Los Angeles, California, <laughs> where the water is not so great. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, I use a water store, and, and I drink the alkaline water, and uh, 
a couple months ago, I started using a product called Audia Clarity, which is a liquid form of black mica, and uh, this helps me detox heavy metals, parasites, yeast, uh, a lot of mm, stuff like that that's doing a lot of good. Food-wise, um, you know, I eat everything still uh, except meat. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with eating meat. It's that this was something that, that needed to uh, slip away from me. Um, and so, you know, about a year and a half ago, I stopped eating meat, and it was super easy. You, you'll, you'll know when it's this is time for you, if there is such a time for you, because it will be super easy. Um, there, there won't be any missing or any um, mm, sort of deficiencies felt in your body. Uh, uh, everything's organic. Mm, I eat about 70% raw because it's just higher energy, higher living foods, and um, maybe 50% mm, liquid. So, you know, green juices, uh, uh, smoothies. So about 50-50 food and, and more liquid type meals. So as far as the food and water, this is what I'm doing. Um, now about other things that I do to help m me project more. I will tell you that when I'm ready to project, and this is every night, every morning, um, I, 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 I recite this little ritual, and I'll just do it for you because it's too hard to explain. It's easier if I just do it. So I say, I open my crown fully to Source. I ask Source to step forward in my awareness. and fully into my field. I direct my attention to the highest and most appropriate vibrational energy to assist me through this evening's events. I am ready. So this is how I let the inner team know I'm ready when the authenticity is um, appropriate for them when uh, I'm actually fully appropriate in my mm, sending out of this message events begin There's endless other things, but I'm going to put this through for now, because many people want to know if I think I'm going to die soon, and I think this is my imperative, actually, in bringing all of these questions forward. This, this I would like to be the highlight. I know many of you are concerned about me for me having made this statement, and um, those of you who continue the concern, I know you'll, you'll do so based on, on your own feelings, but please, really, there's no cause for concern. Um, do I think I'm going to die? Am I saying I'm going to die? No. Not, not in the way that, that death is typically meant, and not in the way that many of you who wrote in asking the questions uh, meant this. Uh, I, I won't be dropping the body, which is the typical way in which people um, ascend or move out of the 3D experience. This is the primary way it has been done to date. But this is not what I will be doing, and it's not what many of you will be doing. And you, you know who you are, those who are about to join me. 
Uh, so what I'll be doing is very similar to what I've already been doing. I will simply be dematerializing from the visible spectrum of third dimensional reality. I will still be, I will still exist, I will still mm, have this approximate form. It will be ascending with me. Uh, there are changes and adaptations, but essentially what I mean is I, I won't be dropping it to get out of here. <laughs> um, it will simply be uh, made lighter, again, dematerialized, and it will be to a degree that, that will not be visible in the, in the third dimensional spectrum. Uh, there, there's lots of other things that, that I could say about this as well, but honestly, I've been saying them all along in all of these videos. Um, it's just time um, for me to uh, move to a more appropriate place for me uh, at this moment. To move permanently out of the 3D spectrum but I will still be able to uh, see and interact with all of you, and I will be uh, assisting with the ascension from a new position. Some really interesting things happened this morning. Uh, this morning, my awareness was being uh, held very close to the physical reality. Uh, while in non-physical experience. And when this happens, um, there's this, this, this uh, drunk or drugged feeling that you have. It's, um, it's, it's, um, it's, it's sort of heavy. You can't keep your eyes open. I'll find myself in places where I'm always sitting down or sometimes just sitting down on the floor <laughs> and closing my eyes. So the visible spectrum will, will happen like this. Um, but uh, it was, uh, my awareness was being purposefully held close to the physical reality so that I could uh, uh, cognize important data about what was happening, uh, about what's about to happen. This happens so that the, uh, the conscious individual or physical person can participate in decisions being made uh, from the non-physical about what the physical component um, will move through experientially. And so I could tell that, that what was happening was uh, uh, biological readings were, were being taken. Uh, two in particular, to see, uh, to read my particular uh, central nervous system response um, of one, being exposed in public, having my true form or my multidimensional forms be viewable by others in public. And the second one, uh, oh gosh, it just slipped my mind. <laughs> oh, um, dematerializing from what I perceive as my primary reality, of course. Um, this one, high honors. I'm, I'm very ready. It's delightful. Um, my biological response to this has been uh, being tested for quite some time. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the test and response this morning was fascinating. Um, I was able to uh, view it uh, in more detail, in more slow motion, so I gained more uh, uh, data, more information, <laughs> which is pleasing to me because uh, it's just when I'm able to experience something more deeply, of course, that's uh, always a joy.